There are so many families hurting, so many losses to COVID-19. Right now, more than 12,000 Georgians confirmed and suspected cases have died as a result of the virus. Loved ones like Ronald Stewart, a devoted father and husband, his family says he was their hero. 36-year-old Raylene Smith got COVID-19 just a few weeks after she learned her husband was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Gwinnett County teacher Maud Jones planned to retire from Rock Springs Elementary, but she never got the chance. And now Tony Ingle, a family man and beloved basketball coach, our Paolo Suro joins us with more on his lasting impact as Atlanta pays tribute to them all. Paola. And you know, that impact goes beyond the basketball court where he spent so many of his years as a basketball coach for, for Dalton State University and Kennesaw State as well. And it's for people like him that the airport now has this beautiful canopy lit up in this amber color, 3500 LED lights to honor those lives that we've lost to COVID-19. If you can't tell how outgoing and loving Tony Ingle was with this video, maybe three of his five kids could paint the picture for you. Got everybody from like a 15 year old kid that was at a basketball camp that was influenced by him. And even uh, like director of officials, like referees have reached out. So you know you've done something right if, right if the refs like you. The former National Coach of the Year's extensive resume includes his two national championship wins, one at Dalton State College, another at Kennesaw State. And while he lost his fight to COVID-19, his family is now keeping his legacy alive. They say raising a family may not be on his resume, but it was his greatest accomplishment. He was a walking quoting machine. It was there's nothing wrong with being dead, but there is something wrong with being forgotten. And when we talk about those that have passed, we honor them. That's why they're glad the country is honoring those who have lost their lives to this pandemic with the lighting of buildings. That was one of his last text messages to me was um, on Christmas Day. He said he's never known how to quit. He said, sometimes I wish I knew how, but I just don't know how. And he, he, did, he never quit. He fought till the bitter end. Now, Ingle was placed on a ventilator January 8th and died 10 days later, so last night. And now his kids, his 10 grandkids and one great-grandson are working to keep all of his legacy alive. Paula, what his son said is really going to stick with me. What is wrong is if they're forgotten. And long after the lights are no longer up in, in significant um, places all around our country and there at the airport tonight, I know it is in all of us to really want to remember. Paula, thanks a lot.